we're fighting forces that are beyond our control, millions and millions of dollars that are coming from police and prison guards. Both the New York Times and the LA Times actually have called this the second most important race in the nation. So I was a district attorney in San Francisco for nearly 10 years where I became known as a godfather of progressive prosecutors. We started a movement that was focused on reducing mass incarceration, bringing police accountability, and beginning to have a different conversation around systemic racism. Proportionally, we have the most incarceration of any county in the country. We're also one of the largest death penalty prosecution offices. The current district attorney has continued to send people to death row. The disproportionality in police violence in LA County, there have been over 600 police killings in the last seven years and only one prosecution. And that's including many police killings where the person that was killed was unarmed. This county has been notorious for criminalizing Poverty. In this race, she's received over $7 million in police contributions, and that's why this race is so critical. So this race is really about the past and the future. Do we continue to incarcerate people? Do we continue to allow police to sometimes use force without any accountability? Senator Sanders, he's been someone who has been very brave. He's been talking about the same things for a long time, and having him support me is very inspirational to me. Protesting is important. I support it, but we need to take it to the next level. And that's why elections really matter. Down ballot races like district attorney are so critically important.